My name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington and I'm an occupational therapist. Today we'll be discussing kinesthesia. Now, the medical definition of kinesthesia is that it's a sense mediated by end organs located in muscles, tendons, and joints and stimulated by bodily movements and tensions. Now the word kinesthesia or kinesthetic sense refers to proprioception alone or to the brain's integration and interpretation of proprioceptive and vestibular inputs. Now, that was a mouthful. Let's break it down. Kinesthesia is basically our conscious awareness of joint position and body position that allows us to interact with our surroundings. Through our sense of kinesthesia, you can tell where different parts of your body are located even if your eyes are closed or if you are standing in a dark room. Now a couple of examples of kinesthesia, one would be knowing where to place your feet when you're climbing stairs without looking at them. Another is knowing how to get a spoon to your mouth without looking. Yet another, knowing how to brush your teeth when there's no mirror available. And another, knowing how to utilize your computer's mouse without having to look at your hand. And last but not least, a fun activity, riding your bicycle knowing the position of your arms and legs when you're pedaling and steering. So let's look at a real life example. Jenny is a two year old little girl. Her parents have been trying to teach her how to feed herself and drink from a sippy cup. However, Jenny's parents are becoming increasingly frustrated because of the lack of progress. They take Jenny to her daycare provider on a daily basis and often see other children her age and some younger successfully being able to feed themselves. Now, when speaking with the daycare staff, they note additional difficulties. They state that her movements tend to be rigid and that she appears to be much less coordinated than other children her age. Now, following this, her parents decided to have an evaluation done by an occupational therapist. Now, the OT found that Jenny had difficulties with kinesthesia, which was the major factor in both her coordination and her not being able to feed herself. Now let's look at some indications of problems with kinesthesia. There could be appearance of awkward movements or rigid movements, clumsiness, constant refusal to participate in physical activities such as sports. One could misjudge how to flex and extend muscles during tasks and activities, say for instance putting on sleeves uh, when you're putting on your shirt. And another is difficulty regulating pressure when writing or drawing, your pressure could be too light or too heavy. Now, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send emails to drcovington at axdrcovington.com or even give us a call at 1-888-991-2368. And as always, thank you for taking the time to be with us. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Hello, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Axe the OT. We look forward to bringing you many more episodes discussing occupational therapy issues. We plan to definitely continue to spread the word on occupational therapy and its importance. We try to make Axe the OT a place for discussion, so we always love to hear from you. So let's connect. Please find us on social media and tell us your thoughts or your suggestions. You can also reach us by email at askdrcovington at gmail.com or give us a call at 1-888-99-123-OT. See you next time.